Okay, welcome to our final conversation class, revision in preparation for your presentations next week. I hope you're not doing another selfie, Daphne, I really do. So, here are our adjectives all around emotions because the presentation next week is going to be important moments in your life. Positive, negative, challenging, inspirational, everything. Here are the words, uh, I, I obviously did too much so I've had to try to squeeze everything on the board. Please listen carefully to the pronunciation of these words. Abandoned. You feel abandoned when somebody leaves you alone and you're all alone. Annoyed. Other words for annoyed. Upset. Pissed off. I really like that word. It's very slang but I love it. Irritated. Fed up. Great words. Isolated is where you feel feel like you're alone. You're not alone, but you feel that. When you're relieved, oh, by the way, notice that I, I put these little, when I put little dashes, that means they're negative emotions. When I put little pluses, they're positive emotions. Here's our first positive emotion. Notice how I talk about negative emotions all the time. Relieved, when the pressure comes off, stress-free, peace of mind. Uh, the expression that I really like is that when a big weight has been lifted from your shoulders. You feel relieved. Engrossed is where you're really focused on something, a particular thing. Everything else just disappears. It's a very positive thing. It can be. Of course, every emotion can be positive or negative. I'll put in general what I feel these emotions are. When you're overwhelmed, that is a very poor E, by the way. Apologies for that. Um, it's when you try to take in too much information or you see something and it just completely overwhelms you, it's just too much. Um, you feel really confused, and I, I, I put the word dazed, and you just can't think anymore. Depressed, when you feel depressed, you're upset, you're sad, miserable, down, broken, thank you for all of these words. When you, are, when you feel manipulated, normally what happens is you change your behavior because somebody has negatively influenced you, and you've been manipulated by somebody. We used a great take expression when you were taken in by somebody and conned by somebody, and then you change your behavior because of that in a negative way. When you're scared, you're frightened, you're terrified, you're afraid. When you feel betrayed, it's normally when somebody has lied to you or cheated you in a really big way. When you feel fulfilled, it's when you it's like when you accomplish something really fully. When you feel satisfied, yeah, that feels good, but fulfilled is like the extreme version of satisfaction. Um, deflated is pretty much the opposite of that, where you feel really empty inside. Deflated is the opposite of inflated. Inflated is when you pump put air into something and make it bigger. Deflated, you feel empty and flat. Encouraged when you feel motivated and inspired. Notice, guys, that we've been learning some of these words over the last nine weeks. So some of this is a review of what we've been doing. Some of it is new stuff as well. Confused, if you just don't know. Undecided, also when you can't decide and you just don't know. Uh, liberated is freedom. When you feel liberated, you feel free. When you feel daunted, you feel afraid, you're like afraid of doing something, you're afraid of doing it because you think you're gonna fail. You're scared of doing something. Overjoyed, very, very happy. Knackered, very, very tired, exhausted. Um, I've put moved as a positive emotion. When you see something that touches your heart or something quite sad and you start crying, you feel very emotional. I put it as a positive emotion. We could have an argument on that one, I'm sure. If you feel intrigued, you're curious, interested in something. I'm intrigued, I want to know more. Paralyzed means shocked, frozen, and scared stiff. And when you, you feel balanced, it's like you found that inner peace, you feel quite neutral and everything feels cool. Okay, that's it.